Have you ever wanted to get into the custom keyboard world, but you keep hearing people talking about building them and boards and sound dampening and all of this other stuff, and you're like, God, I don't even know where to start. So you just go pick up a normal Razer or Corsair keyboard and kind of go about your day? Well, today I'm gonna to bring you a different option. I'm gonna bring you a keyboard called the GMMK2 by Glorious. It's a great entry level, fully customizable, hot swappable keyboard where you can switch out all these different little pieces and make it your own over time. Now, before we get into the unboxing of the keyboard, I kind of want to take this time to go over a couple of uh, keywords involving custom keyboards. Now, the keyboard I'm unboxing is a glorious GMMK2 96%, okay? So the 96% is going to be the overall size of the keyboard and the layout. So it's basically the same as any average keyboard you get from any of the main companies that you're probably using right now except they took out some of the spaces and shortened it down a bit. I'll put some images up to show you guys. So aside from the 96%, there's a ton of other sizes and layouts. Uh, really popular ones include 60s, 65s, 70s, and 75s, which lower the footprint of your unit, giving you a lot more space in your desk. It, you'll lose like a number pad or a couple other things, but overall you're still gonna have the main keys. Next up, we have the different switch types. Now. We're gonna to stick to three, but there are a ton of switch types out there. The main three, linear, tactile, and clicky. I mean, there's also a couple other ones like low profile and optical, but we're gonna stick with those main three today. For starters, we have the linear switch. Now, the linear tends to be smoother throughout, so the press up and down, it takes less force to actuate, and is personally my favorite. We'll go over a couple of different sounds from them later in the video, stick around for that. Now the linears don't have any type of bump or tactile feedback when you press down. It's just a smooth up and down motion, so all the sound you're gonna get is from the keycap itself actually bottoming out on the switch. Up next, we have the tactile switch. Now the tactile switch tends to be slightly louder than the linear, but still pretty quiet overall. They have a bump right before the actuation goes off. So if you're a typist or you're taking down notes or you're gaming, this kind of helps you understand more from your feel when you actually make the key press. But overall, these are a really popular thing in gaming, um, professional applications, stuff like that. Last but not least, we have the clicky switch. And it's just what it sounds like, it clicks. These switches have the same feedback as tactile switches due to an internal mechanism that moves during the actuation. Now, the more I get into custom keyboards, the less I prefer these, but in the end, it's all about what you like and what you want to hear. Now that you guys have some basic knowledge on some keyboard terms, let's get into the unboxing of the glorious GMMK2 and see what you think about it. Looking around the board, you will see it has an exposed switch, low profile design with some extra RGB right here on the side. A couple of nice strips there. The switches that I have are the Glorious Fox switches. Um, these are not compatible with Cherry MX switches and you cannot buy these separate. You have to get these with this board or I believe the Pro board as well. All right, now flipping around to the bottom, we have a large Glorious logo, a couple of textured rubber feet here on the sides. Then we have some flip up stands with nice rubber pads on them. I'm gonna be honest, I do wish that these were more adjustable, but it's nice to at least have an option. The whole top housing is made out of aluminum, and then the lower half is made out of uh, an ABS plastic. Now on the back here, you can see that it has the USB Type-C port centered in the middle. Let's see what else we have in the box, and we'll get it connected. Okay, so here in the box, we have the quick start guide, along with a USB type C cable tucked right here in the back. Looks like a pretty nice high quality cable, kind of like an orange color on it. That's pretty neat. Back here, you have a keycap puller and a normal escape key. You had kind of a unique one that came with it. You also have a metal switch puller Nice to see that it's metal, makes life a little easier there. Okay, let's get this hooked up and check it out. So you can see the USB Type-C goes right in the back here. Oh, nice snug fit, feels very solid. That's not gonna accidentally slide out, I like that a lot. Let's do a little typing test and see how it sounds.
Okay, so let's start with the negatives. Not adjustable feet. Pre-lubed sounds really good, but could use a little tuning. And the switch stabilizers, not a huge fan. But the RGB looks great, build quality looks great, nice USB-C cable, so on and so forth. And the switches sound awesome. So you guys can decide for yourselves. There's gonna be a link down below. It is going to be an affiliate link that helps the channel out directly, financially. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe and follow for more keyboard videos in the future. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.